Hi guys, time for another update on the jelly clock or jelly battery. Uh, made that with jelly <laughs> or jello as the Americans would call it. It's my normal setup. We got a copper plate and a magnesium plate. And we set it up and it ran for a couple of days, I think. And then it started losing power. The display went and basically it died. I cleaned the plates and moved it around a bit. And that didn't seem to help. But I left it. And since then, it started going again on its own. Without me doing any more to it. Um, I have actually reset the clock. So that's the right time on there. But other than that, I did no more to it. And I was trying to figure out why it should have started working again. And I think if we look at it, it's got a good layer of black mold growing on the surface. And I suspect that's what the, the key is, that the mold is actually generating suitable free ions to um, conduct the electricity. So I suspect it's the mold that's doing it, not so much the jelly. Yeah, good, good layer of black mold on the surface. So I think that's what's doing it. Talking about mold, <laughs> I hate to think what the cheese is like in there, that the cheese which has been running on for months. It did dry out quite a bit and I have squirted a little bit of water in there to uh, lubricate it, to keep it going. It eats through the magnesium strips quite quickly. Uh, the other problem we get is these crocodile clips, the metal of them seems to interact with the magnesium and quite often we lose conductivity there. So I have to wiggle the crocodile clips around a bit to restore the conductivity. But yeah, I, I don't feel like taking it apart to have a look inside, but it does look pretty pretty foul in there. <laughs> 